So this is a prototype Triumph Trident that we're, we're here in the Design Museum in London. Triumph have just unveiled it to us. It's very much a prototype, as you can see. Um, the Triumph have, have given us some interesting teasers about it. We don't know any specs yet. Uh, we don't even know at the moment what the capacity of the engine is, other than it's triple. And, and that's important because trying for putting this bike up against things like Kawasaki Z650, Yamaha's MT-07, Honda CB650. Two of those are twins, one's a four. Um, it's important, this is a triple. Um, this is Steve Sargent, Triumph. Oh, yeah. um, got a whole load of questions we can ask you. I know you're probably not going to answer most of them. I'll do my best. Can you give us any clue as to the capacity of this bike? As you said in your introduction, the, the bikes that we see this competing with, the Kawasaki, the Yamaha and the Honda, that gives you a pretty good indication in terms of where this bike's likely to sit. Yeah. So obviously competing against those bikes, as you say, two of them are twin, one of them is a four. We think as a triple, we've got the best combination of both of those things. But in terms of capacity, I think you can probably have a reasonable guess in terms of where <laughs> it's likely to sit. Yeah, and I guess it's an interesting part of the market, isn't it? Because, because you want a bike that's that kind of big enough to be credible mm. um, for, for riders who are on the way up. But maybe for the riders who are who are maybe coming back, and, you know, coming back from different kind of bikes to a more simple naked bike, it's also got to be credible for those guys who may be coming down from a bigger bike, and and and, and that kind of the competition, that kind of 650, 700, seems about right for that. Yeah. So I think in this category of bike, you've you've got a couple of different types of customers. So. You've got a lot of people for whom this is their first big bike. So, yeah. maybe, so maybe they've passed their test, maybe they've bought a second-hand machine after they've passed the test, and then as their first brand new big bike, this is the kind of bike that they might consider buying. But you've also got people who are maybe a little bit more experienced riders who are looking for something that's an all-rounder, something they can commute on, something they can have a bit of fun at weekends, yeah. something they can go out for a ride with their mates on. So it is kind of that perfect combination of an all-rounder for me. Did you start with the market segment you're going for and some rough idea of the price point and say, how do we build a bike that, that fits that price point but also has all the kind of triumph values that we want? Is that, is that the process? Yeah, so we're, we're obviously always looking at the market and seeing where the segments are, where bikes are selling well, who's, who's competing in those segments, what kind of product they've got in those segments and looking really for opportunities where we can compete. So. What we've identified with this machine is an opportunity to bring a customer into the Triumph brand who maybe isn't currently considering buying yeah. a Triumph. So something that's more of an entry point into the brand from where we are today. So that's why the price point is really important on this machine, to get it down to something that really competes with those competitor bikes that we've mentioned. Is this the most mainstream Triumph will have ever been then, do you think? Possibly, possibly. I mean, let's, let's hope so. In terms of volume it's a segment that obviously has an awful lot of volume in it certainly in europe in the uk there's a lot of people out there riding these kinds of machines because they are that kind of perfect all-rounder for a lot of people yeah. so there's definitely a lot of volume in there we're certainly hoping that this will be a good seller for us but uh, let's wait and see within motorcycling and within the bike press and within all the kind of people who chatter about bikes, we've been talking for years about, about is Triumph gonna is Triumph gonna go into that kind of A2 category? Is Triumph gonna gonna go into we, and we've you know we've had rumors of smaller bikes and two fifties and three fifties and yeah. and actually it's really interesting that that rather than do something like that, which may have had run the risk of, of someone saying, well, that's just a rebadged something or other, you've actually gone and said, actually, if we're going to do this market, we're going to do it how Triumph would do it. That's, that's how this looks to me. That's absolutely critical for us. I think every product that we put out into the market, you want people to look at it and say, I recognise that's a Triumph. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the importance, really, of, of building a brand and building a brand image, is that you want people to look at your products and say, I recognise that instantly as being a Triumph. And yeah. that's one of the things that was key when we started designing this bike, is we wanted something that took styling cues from some of our existing bikes in the range. For me, this bike is kind of a combination of a speed twin, you know, that kind of classic yeah. elegance that you get from a speed twin, but then also that kind of muscularity that you get yeah. out of a speed triple or a street triple. Okay. So. We've tried to combine those two things and come up with something fresh. Yeah, I, th I mean, from what we can see here, and, and I think from what you were saying before, th this is a prototype, but it's not that far removed from, from what the production bike is going to be. I guess there's, you, you're still going through the final process and there's probably focus groups and all kinds of stuff going on, but I, I get that. You know, you can see it's got a lovely 
very sporty look at the back end, very sporty swinging arm, the exhaust layout's lovely, but then you've got this very sort of classic tank, single headlight, single instrument pinnacle, mm. and the bars are just slightly higher as well, aren't they, than, than something like a street triple? Yeah, triple. so the ergonomics were quite important. When, when we spoke to people who are buying these kind of machines, obviously because they see it as an all-rounder, they don't want something that's putting too much weight on your wrist. They want something that's got that slightly more upright riding position, but something that when you want to ride a little bit more aggressively, you can still feel sporty on it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all been developed with that in mind. Yeah, and I know you're not reviewing figures at the moment, but it's, you know, it, it look, you can sort of see it's a very minimalist bike. There's not a lot to the frame. The swinging arm's big where it needs to be. It's got that look of something which is going to be small, relatively easy to get along with, really manageable, seats nice and narrow. Um, doesn't look like a heavy bike. The drives generally aren't heavy bikes anyway. No, quite. Um, the kind of timeline is that it's, got, it's on sale early next year, early so, 2021. So it's on that? sale early 2021. Yeah. So in terms of how close this is to a production motorcycle, it's quite close. Uh, there's obviously some things still on this motorcycle that are either machined from solid or they're prototype parts. Yeah. But we're, we're certainly at a level where we've had a number of these bikes out on the roads. Quite surprisingly, we haven't seen any spy shots of the machine, which I guess is why you guys are quite surprised to see yeah, it. Yeah, um, So, you know, we've done a really good job of keeping this away from the public eye. But in terms of how close this is to a production model, it's pretty close. I guess over the next few weeks, a couple of months, we'll, we'll hear more about it and, and a press ride, presumably. Yeah, so the, the, so the spec reveal will be in a few weeks' time. Yeah. And then uh, the press ride will be organised uh, early next year, I believe. Really? And all you're saying at the moment about price is it will be, com I think you said surprisingly competitive in that kind of Z650, CB650 market? Yeah, I think, you know, what we recognise is if we're going to um, convert some of those customers off of their existing brands onto Triumph, yeah. we have to not only put out a really great package and something that looks really nice, but we've still got to be competitive on price. Yeah, that's great. I really look forward to seeing more of it. All right, cool. Thanks for that, Steve. All right, no worries. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.